and welcome to yet another episode of Roundup Overtime. I'm starting to slowly bang them all out. Um, we've got a familiar face joining us for video on the first time. That didn't sound spectacular, but I'm not going to edit it out. It's Rolfelko, uh, the return of the big man himself uh, recently into Vertex uh, after some some shenanigans that I'm sure everyone is uh, very familiar with. How are you, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. Good. How are you going? Good. Um, I'm not happy about that intro, but again, I'm going to leave. That's no, good. Sounded um, nice. How, how's it been coming back into the lineup? Does it sort of feel like you've just, uh, you know, picked up where you've left off? <laughs> um, I wouldn't say picked up where I've left <laughs> off. It's been a bit rusty after not playing for like 80 days, but um, slowly getting back into it. Every Literally like every game we play, I feel better and better. And um, the team's made it very easy for me to come back and feel comfortable, apart from their constant shit talk about my, <laughs> like my mechanics and movement. But um, apart from that, it's good. Yeah, very happy to be back and playing. If you had I to think, put like a yeah. percentage on it, how like close back to like 100% are you feeling individually? Um, thing is like, I don't want to be like the same level. I want to get better than what yeah, I was right. before. So I'd say I'm about like 30% right now. As in, okay. like, how well I can play and, like, how comfortable I actually am playing right now because I'm not very comfortable on playing. But that's just because I didn't play for three months. So there's a lot of things, like, I'll second-guess myself or miss timings or just literally, like, won't be able to hold a spray down properly. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I like, I know in, like, a couple of weeks, like, it'll be fine. I've also got a new mouse. Literally, yesterday, I used it against Renegades. The... Don't even know what it's called. It's a light <laughs> one. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, and, uh, but uh, it's good. Just leave my alarms going off. Yeah, it is. Said CS interview. But no, uh, yeah, Beautiful. just um, just need to get back into it and get the hours up again, and we'll be good. Sweet. Um, when you uh left the lineup, Tensai was still in the team. Um, but now you've come back. Um, you know you've got uh, well, the lineup itself has had a whole bunch of people come through it. Um, and in your absence. Have you seen that uh, everyone else in the team, you know, PZ, Attic, Embrace, sort of develop? And you, have you seen them grow as players since you last got the chance to play with them? Yeah, no, I think Attic's the most um, notable one there. Attic's really stepped up, like, all around. I've come back into the team and he's just got a lot of inf- like he's got a lot of input like what we're doing offline he's watching a lot more demos he's just a lot more well-rounded now that i play like he plays with confidence he's very good mechanically he's always been but i feel like he's come more to as a player and he's a lot more just confident all around like he'll make plays and he'll just do it with just maximum confidence and he would just shit on people because that's the <laughs> sort of player he is but um he's impressed me the most since i've come back a lot more vocal and a lot more in the actual team now feels like Nice, nice. Um, in terms of bringing uh, the dud, big APOC dud into the squad, why yeah. did you go for Tom? Um, and, and what is he sort of bringing to the team? Um, and did you know that he was coming in as the fifth? And the only reason I ask that is, is because if you hadn't have come back, would he have come to this team at all? Um, well, he was on the team before I was even unbanned. So that's the answer to that question. There you go. I, True. I, I, I had no input in him coming to the team or anything. There you um, go. Happened all before. But Tommy is just a, such a good player. I think either way, we're just so lucky to have him on the team. He just brings so much. Like as an old IGL, like very, ins- he has very good insight in the game. His mechanics are nuts as well. Like he is just such a well-rounded player. Um, Bloody excellent, we have him. That's it. Like, um, I would, I would want to get him 100% if I was on the team. I would have like pushed for it as well. And I know everyone else, the same mentality. He's just insane. Um, I, yeah, he also brings like good looks. That, that was enough of it, so that's good. Are you using him as a bit of a Swiss Army knife? Like, is Bray still IGL? PZ still primary orb, but um, he's just there to fill every single spot, bring out the double orb. You know, that'd be good. Is that how you're using him at the moment? Um, for Tom, I think we're just, I think we're just trying to get him as comfortable as we can. Yeah. Um, he's got really good insight in offline. He brings a lot to the table that way. If he's got an opinion, we definitely listen to it. Um, he's got really good knowledge, but I think right now we're just trying to get him as comfortable as he can be because he, like we've seen him, he can just pop off and just carry the team and just play so well. So I think, um, less as a fill and more just as, like as his own player. Because yeah. he's just, he's got so much potential and like everyone knows it. Everyone's seen him just destroy. So I think um, the more we play, the more comfortable he'll become. And the more he'll just 
just become like an amazing player because on the off he's crazy when he double offs he's insane but I think um focusing more on him rifling because he's just he's so good like yeah nice um I spoke to to Fiend in a, another episode of, of Roundup yeah. Overtime and he actually spoke super highly not only of just like Vertex as a as a team um but particularly Bryce he really likes uh <laughs> the dedicated sort of IGL um I yeah. guess because he is one himself um, but do you want to piggyback off those comments at all and mention what makes Brace such a, a good IGL? Oh, fuck Brace. Uh, <laughs> um, no, nah, Brace is just, um, he's always been like such a good mind of the game. He's helped me and like everyone else in the team so much develop. He's just, the way he thinks is different to everyone else um, that I've seen. He's just always had this, he's just always, he's been the best IGL I've ever played with always like and no one else comes close so see, he's easily one of the best scores in australia and he's super underrated um i think now he's getting a bit more recognition because the team's a bit higher up but actually you know doing okay making events and everything now he's getting the recognition he deserves he's also become like cracked he got a 240 hertz monitor <laughs> when he's not lagging he's really sharp so i think um he hasn't been given the credit he deserves. He's su- super dedicated, the most dedicated player I've ever seen. Like he would just spend hours and hours doing offline, coming up with solutions to stuff, watching VODs back, um, things that people don't see. And that's why he doesn't get the recognition because no one sees this stuff. Yeah. But that's the stuff that matters the most, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, definitely does deserve it all. He's got a squeaky little bitch voice though, which can be annoying to listen to, but um, just we're super lucky to have him on the team. He's just, he's crazy. If he gets poached one day, I'll probably hunt him down and kill him, but like he he deserves to be on like one of the best teams in Australia. Nice, yeah, that's uh... <laughs> awesome. <laughs> he's um, gonna be he's gonna have the biggest ego after that, bro. Like it's gonna be so cringe. Uh, uh don't worry, no one watches these anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not editing that out. Um, I was really curious. So uh, I was looking through all the maps you guys play, and conveniently, you don't play a lot of train. Um, can we, it's always ex- our favorite band. can yeah. we expect to see a seven map pool out of Vertex and you guys play ancient or you definitely will be seeing a seven map pool out of us. We've got some geek shit on that map already. Like, you, so you do play he, it. Do you have any like general sort of thoughts? I on haven't the touched the map. I okay. haven't touched it. PZ and race have already got executes to the map set up. And I shit. love like, that. I really love that. Uh, we will definitely be playing it. We are so happy chains gone. We've never played that map ever. And like, uh, it's thank god that map's gone you can't ex- yeah you definitely expect the seven map map pool i think we're we're pretty keen on just um just playing everything now we're not scared to do any map awesome so glad it's gone <laughs> um and uh you guys were the first team actually to play against renegades domestically uh i don't yeah. know if it's this year i think it is at least this year um in an official sense so what are the in that game you played against them do you see any sort of you know, without Dexter, blah, 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 all the like, circumstances. Do you see weaknesses? Are they, like, a lot beatable than they were at the height of last year? Um, I think it's sort of a... It's a different sort of environment to judge them off because last time we played them was Beijing. Yeah. And they would have been putting a lot more effort into that game, so they stomped us. This is just MDL, um, just group stages or whatever, so I don't think they really tried that hard. Um, we, de- we had some good players, played off each other well, like, not discrediting us, but I reckon they've got a lot more in the tank. And yeah. if they actually want to go full throttle, they can. Um, but I don't know. We just have to let them develop more, right? I think it's only fair to let them let time go on and just see how they run. Because any team can be weaker when they've only been together for like two months, right? Whereas their last iteration was together for so long. So I reckon there's definitely massive potential. Like Ali is a massive player. Um, the like loss of Dexter is just it's a different sort of loss, right? Because Dexter was like one of the best like the best player in Australia, the best mind. So it's pretty hard to like judge them after that. They're still the best team in Australia, in my point of view, like and they will be for the rest of this year. But um no, nah, no real weaknesses. I think we just played we just played together and we got a couple of rounds off them just like off individual skill and just team play. Um, yeah. Nice. Not much to say about that. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's everything I've had prepared. So uh, feel free, please, if you want to jump in, shout out to, uh, I always say the same thing. It's always friends, family, supporters, haters, and something else. But (laughs) if there's anything you want to jump in with, uh, jump in now. Shout out to Vertex, the best organization (laughs) show. Jamie, the best owner in Australia. He goes above and beyond for everyone always. He's a legend. Follow Vertex, follow Jamie on Twitter. Send him some love. Um, Shout out to the haters of Toby Brace Barnes. That guy's a bitch. Um, shout out to Addict, the fans at home. 
Addict PZ and the AFOX stud. You know, it's good. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Much cool. Thank you very much for joining me on uh, Random Bone Time. And it's, it's really awesome to have you back. Yeah, cheers, man. It's good to be back. Thanks for the interview. <laughs>